Hi everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you have enjoyed a good day. Mondays are always fun, huh? So first I gotta tell you, my hair is having a bit of a walk on the wild side today. I got it, I got it, got it done this morning and um, I didn't pay attention to how it was drying. And so now it's, it's kind of traveled back to the 80s, if you will. It's a little big. <laughs> so um, that's okay. It, you know, it's just hair and tomorrow is a brand new day. But today I get to remember high school, college. Um, so reminders, uh, let's see. Well, first, I guess I should tell you, for any of you that don't know me, my name is Michelle Salcho, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Middle Tennessee. And um, I've been a demonstrator for about five, it'll be five years in June. Um, I have, today is the last day to take advantage of the ordering special and get the Dragonfly class, um, class kit for free, or you can purchase just that class kit if you prefer. Um, I'm going to share, I'm going to turn the switch cameras in a moment and I'll show you those cards again, as well as the cards for this week's, this Saturday's class, the Snailed It class. So this is the, the stamp set that we are featuring this Saturday. It is super, super cute and um, I hope that, uh, that you can join us. I do have a few extra um kits available. So if you missed out and if you, after you see the, the samples today, if that's something that you want to participate in, just let me know and I'll do my best to, to take care of that for you. Um, today we are, I'm going to show you kind of a, a replay of some of those projects and then we have a cute little snail project that's not included in the class kit but there are so many cute projects with this um, stamp set that I just decided that you know, I was just going to share, continue to share projects with it um, as long as I could. So, um, so this should be a quick, short, short video because I've just got this one quick project for you. And then I'm going to share some of the, um, the samples from the others. Okay, so let me switch cameras and stop rambling. And I'll throw myself up there in the corner. Oh, I forgot my logo today. Oh, that's that's all right. We'll get that later. Um, if you would like to place an order, I will um, post link the link to the video and the link to the ordering special. Um, those will be on my my blog um, as well as in a newsletter tomorrow. Um, don't forget, it is time to register for bingo. That date is coming up on us very quickly because it is early, early, early this month. We wanted to play bingo before we head out to Hawaii, which means that we are playing on May the 7th. We are using the sweet ice cream um, bundle, and I have a ton of samples of that to show you. But in case you aren't familiar with that cute bundle, let me show it to you. It is a punch bundle. Um, love punches and okay they must be at the end of the die bundles there they are okay page 49 so it is on page 49 of the mini catalog so here it is super super cute y'all this paper is adorable so so adorable um, and I think that is not accurate I don't think that's accurate um, so, but the paper is going to retire. We have uh, until the end of June to play with it. So, um, so here are some of the samples with this. Isn't that the cutest thing? Gorgeous, bright colors. Um, I'm going to punch as much as I can. And so if you've got a greeting set, if you don't have this stamp set and you um, want to do the projects a little differently, absolutely. I think you'll be able, for the most part, just to swap out greetings, um, and and I will be stamping, punching, not stamping, I will be punching for you. Um, and then one of the cards is going to be a shaker card with these fun sprinkles. So that is on May the 7th. The class is, the cost is $30, and um, if you haven't seen any announcements about that, then, then let me know. I'm not doing my job right. I thought I was getting out lots of information. All right, so the Dragonfly Kit. Um, these are the cards that we made in the class. 
this super cute. So I showed you a fun, easy way to make this fun fold. Okay. Um, and we have this one. And this one includes the little ladybugs. And we made this one. So one, two, three. And we made this one. So super, super sweet cards. Some of the others that I shared um, leading up to that class. This one. And then this one as well. And I decorated the inside of it. And then with the kit. So this is what the kit looks like, right? And it includes envelopes and prepped cardstock and prepped DSP for four designs. You make two of each, include some ribbon, and then I'm sending a sweet little thank you card with each kit. All right, so yet another. And this is actually punched from the designer series paper. So, um, and today's the last day for that ordering special. If you hop over to the group card class with MC2, Michelle's Creative Corner, then you can see a replay of the video as well as all those card samples. So what are we making this week in the snailed class? Well, this is a late comer to the class. I just thought it was too cute. And actually, um, my friend Kylie, um, Crenshaw, Henshaw, Dadgum, I think it's Henshaw, um, designed this card, and I thought it was just too cute not to include, so I added this one, um, so we'll make this one, make two of those, and then we're going to make this one, this one is a technique, so I'm going to show you how to make this mirror image of it, of the mushrooms, and then this one with the happy mail enclosed, super sweet, and then this one, um, this is a design by Beth Buchanan, at least that's who I saw, um, and lets you spotlight both sides of the DSP. And you could make all three of these panels have this area here. You could include a photo or lots of places for greetings. I did not want to hide all of this detail. So that is why I brought a second panel here. And I don't know if y'all can see, yeah, can kind of see that this um, red piece is embossed with this uh, stitched whimsy, whimsy, whimsical, stitched with whimsy, I think that's the name of it. And then of course these are the stitched so sweetly dies and slide a belly band on. So your 12 by 12 designer series paper is calling for this kind of design. So too, too fun. All right, so those are the four snail deck cards. And then I am gonna show you one more today. And this was actually designed by Kylie too. And I'm just gonna pop over here and, and check her. It is Henshaw, okay, I got it. I had it right, I just doubted myself. So mine is just a little bit different. Um, I decided that I wanted to add a, um, a layer. I just like the, the, the look of having this extra layer. So this is our card. That's what our card stack is going to look like, right? And I think we're going to put something there. Not quite sure. And then these little snails, we are going to color in different colors and just line up right along here and stamp you snailed it down here at the bottom. Then on the inside or on the envelope, then we want to be sure and use that happy mail enclosed. So I've got some fun, bright colors out here. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that this die, when you stamp and cut it out, includes this little envelope. And Kylie cut that off of hers, and I like that idea. It, um, since we're going to do so many of them, it might be more distracting if they each had that little piece of mail on them. So I'm just going to cut that out. And trim this, trim this eyeball a little bit. I have been dying to use googly eyes on <laughs> these snails, but my googly eyes are packed. I haven't found them yet, so i got to get busy. So I went ahead and, and 
colored this one before we got started. This is um, crumb cake and granny apple green. All right, so I'm going to set the granny apple green aside just so I don't get confused. Then I'm going to grab the crumb cake for the little snail body. And I just did a little bit of the dark color here. And then I took out the light and blended it. Blended, I think that is the correct form. And I'm just getting a little bit lighter as I go. And then along the very bottom, I might make him a little darker. And I am wearing my distance contacts today, so I may need my reading glasses for some of this detail. And I think they're over here. Yeah, they are. It's a subtle difference in my vision with or without them. And since they're kind of dirty, it's even more subtle. I just gave him a little mustache. All right, so then let's do um, Bermuda Bay. And sometimes these caps are really hard to get off. There we go. And I may need to trim up a little bit of that white. Um, we'll see. I've also got a color lifter out here. Um, hey, Joyce. So I think that's it for the dark. I just love these bright shells. I, don't, I like these little snails. I think they're too much fun. So that class is at 2 o'clock, and I will post a Facebook Live, and I have, have space if you would like to come and um, at least stamp those cards in person, meet me on the porch, then I have space for three people. Hi, Ashley. Yes, I love these bright colors, too. I thought this was just such a happy little card. A little smiling snail. There's another one that um, Hope cased from one of my UK demonstrator friends that I want to try as well. And she used the shimmery crystal effects to add the little snail trail <laughs> so, all right now this is coming out really dark and not a lot of shading so I gotta see what I want to do so I've got the color lifter so I can lift that up a little bit I kind of like it. I may not. All right, let's set that aside because I've already done that. Then let's do the pink. So I pulled out Melon Mambo instead of Magenta Madness. You know what? It was really tempting because there are five colors that I'm using. It was really tempting to get out the five new in colors. I resisted, but I don't know. might have to do that later tonight um, I've got some I've got some um, prizes to send out to my team and um, I might just have to make this little snail up and color him Now y'all saw me just use this a second ago and it was not dry. It sure acts dry now, doesn't it? And it's trying to squeak. Oh my gosh, that's so wild.
No, I think I'm just going to find another one. Sorry, guys. Stay tuned. Um, let me see if I've got one handy. Crumb cake, crumb cake. No, no, no. Okay, crumb cake, where are you? Now, y'all aren't going to believe it. Well, yeah, you will believe it. I am terrified of running out of colors. So, <laughs> I, uh, I might have a few in case I run out. And I hope there's a crumb cake in here. Yes. Okay. Saved by the stash. Okay, and my dark is still okay, so I don't need to get it out. But my light, that sure went dead in a hurry. Or suddenly, not in a hurry. I use crumb cake all the time. <laughs> That's our secret though, right? Oh my gosh, the BOGO. I got to have my BOGO. Um, it's time. Oh, Hex, this is... So I have one lovely lipstick and one Melon Mambo. Okay, let me fix that. Um, for you. Your lovely lipstick. For you. Melon Mambo. Okay. Glad I looked at that. Although, it may not have mattered so much. Um, my stash is going to overtake me, um, and my husband, oh, thank you, yeah, I, um, I rarely get my nails done, but I wanted them done for the trip, and I was afraid I would break one between now and May 15th, so I ran out. Friday afternoon and got them done and then I'll get them done again right before we leave and they'll be all pretty I hate picking out a color I like doing the color on just the tips because that way it can grow out longer and not be as noticeable that it, you know, that they're overdue. That makes me sound really cheap, doesn't it? I just want to spend my money other places. Oops. I think. Okay, so Melon Mambo, get you right away. Then Pumpkin Pie. And then we'll do Daffodil Delight is our last one. I kind of forgot to color my little snail there. He's feeling naked all of a sudden. I mean, googly eyes would make this more fun. I need to get those out. I know they're here somewhere. They're in one of these boxes I keep tripping over. So I'm actually going to be able to post the BOGO items on my new website. It's still mostly under construction, but getting closer have a friend that has used to do kind of quality control in her full time in her career and so she has kindly agreed to do my my quality testing oh I should probably color the little dude that makes me feel so much better because I know she'll 
she'll spot things that don't flow correctly. Um, and she'll find any color discrepancies that I have. Because I really did, I created a logo, I have a brand. Just not enough time. Okay, there's that one. Oh, might as well keep you. Color this last one. Daffodil Delight. So my friend Kylie that designed this class, that this card and the other one that I showed you is a very talented demonstrator in the UK. She's very sweet. I know I really like these little snails. I want to do the other card too that um, that Hope is already cased, um, and use because she used the pot from the succulents and kind of made it look like a galvanized metal container, and then she um, used that shimmery crystal effects to give the snail a little t uh, trail. That's too cute. So when I want it darker, I've got a couple of choices. I could continue layering on with the light color, um, or I could get out the dark blend again and come back with more dark. All right, so now let's see how we want to lay these out. I'm pretty sure that I want this little pink strip over here. Maybe not that long. I'm going to flag it, do something. I should probably go ahead and stamp my greeting so I know where it's going to be. This was a card that didn't quite make the cut, but isn't it beautiful? Um, I you know, think you could just leave it blank. You could stamp hello, add some gems. Um, it's just real sweet and simple, clean. Um, my greeting. So, oops, you'll see I cut out a few of those. And you snailed it. Kind of a congratulations, right? You nailed it. You snailed it. I hope nobody would think that I meant that they had taken their sweet time and, you know, that they achieved it, but they waited too long. That's not the case. It's just a cute little whimsical saying. And... All right, I'll clean you in just a second. Um, I'm going to grab my little flag punch. Um, and I kind of prefer this. Oh, I'm going to need a post it note because this is a little bit too long. I don't have a handle. So, a post it note will give me a handle. So if you didn't, if you've never done that before, this post-it note will hold on to the end. And slide. 
slide in there. Maybe it needs to go this way. Oh. Okay. Stay. And when you know I got it to go, but I got it to go on the side I didn't want to use, that's okay. Okay, so then I can cut off the top if I want it to be shorter. What order do we want these to go down? I really think I'm going to swap these two. Or should they be like this? Okay. I'm going to round that eye off just a little bit. And I'm going to start on the left side and just layer them down. Okay, I need a strip of paper to help me see my line. Oh, you know what? Uh, one of my rulers that's see-through would be better. That way I could see my greeting too. I think that's good. Let's get some. Actually, I'm going to use Tombow today so that I can glue their eyes down a bit. If their eyes are flat to the card, it won't be so obvious that I cut off that piece. You guys got quiet. Has it been a good Monday? A rough Monday? Some Mondays are just rough. Oh, I think this is really stinking cute. This one dip down just a little. Oops. Come on. Sometimes I think I need to use a little positioning. And I don't know why I think they have to be straight. That's kind of crazy. Definitely silly. Oh, yeah, and you've definitely got to overlap a bit.
All right. So we'll zoom tonight at seven central. This little guy's really gonna be hanging off. We have to break ranks here and there we go. All right, and then let's, where did my, there. Let's decide how far this needs to come down. I'm just gonna let that set for a second and I'll put the black on. The liquid glue is great for giving us a few seconds to adjust the positioning. And until we got the seal and the seal plus, I used it. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Um, okay, I'm here. All right, now I could use my trimmer to make sure that this is straight. I think I can go along the edge and it will be good enough. Oh my gosh, isn't that so fun? I think that's just precious. I think they might be coming downhill a little bit, even though I tried to use a ruler. That's okay. They are pretty cute. So we'll see what I do next. I might do something with the end colors and use that to send out with my team prizes. No, we'll just have to see. All right, everybody, I will let you go. I um, hope that I see you back at 7 o'clock. Um, the Zoom link is posted in on this page. Um, I believe it's an announcement. If you have any trouble finding it, please let me know because we love, we just hang out, bring whatever you're working on and visit with us. Um, we just have a, we just have a great time. I look forward to that real casual time together and uh, answering whatever questions everybody has and just, just hanging out. So, if you need to hang out and you want to see more of my big hair, then um, come on back at 7 and we will see you. See you then. Thanks, guys. I appreciate all the love, the shares, the likes, and all of that. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.